Okay, and we are live. We're all recording. Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna continue Paper Mario. We're all set up for this, but now we gotta go take care of one important thing before we can move on to the next chapter. Yep, tell it to me. Ooh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consul uh, consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. I, like, had a hiccup all of a sudden. Hmm. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. Yeah, so at this point, we can go back to Hooktail's castle, so we can get the Ultra Orb to level up partners again. Which is very fun. Going all the way back to Hooktail's castle. Let's do it. We're absolutely gonna do that. They kind of have a few different reasons to make you backtrack to Hooktail. One of them is to get Miss Mouse. Hold up a sec. While we're here, though, let's go ahead and just toss Bobbery into this. There's a pipe. Let's have a little look around here. And who are you? Why do you have a barrel on your head? Hee hee hee. Welcome to Shet Rippo's Adjustment House. This is where you adjust your abilities and your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustment done, talk to me from the other side. Okay, so he's the one who, like, lowers one stat in exchange for upgrade in another? I'm not sure that's something I really want to do, though. That's Chet Rippo, the adjuster. He can adjust your stats or your partner's ranks. Me? I wouldn't trust this guy with anything more complex than plucking back hair. I know I always say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but still. Hang on. Is there anything behind his curtains? Nope. Yeah, this isn't something we need to do. You can do something with it, but it's like, bleh, why? It's like, who really needs that, that extra upgrade that quickly, right? Anyways, we can pick up a few things along the way. First, let's do this. You can see if there's a crack there, but I don't think I can actually climb up there without the ability to the super jump. But I can use the boat, hang on. At least now that I'm backtracking this way, I can, like, uh, pick up a couple things like this. Okay. Now, how do I jump over to that? Can I reach that? I don't think so. Hold up, it looks like the water continues behind that platform, so let me take a look. Oh no, it doesn't. And I can't jump out. I seem to recall that pipe, but I don't remember how to actually get into it. Hang on. Wait, could it be this? Does it go? Okay, it goes both ways. Once I can jump up there and grab whatever that is, I can go over to the pipe, but... That's not until later. Okay, we've just jumped ahead for YouTube, assuming I remembered to edit this part. Backtracking through the castle is a little bit of a pain. So anyways, that thing Merlin was talking about, if you go all the way back here, once you have Bobbery... I totally forgot that this is how you get the Ultra Orb. You can go in here, and hang on, I wonder what Goombella says about this place. This is a hidden room in Hooktail Castle. Who knew there was a room in here? Well, guess secret rooms are supposed to be secret. Weird how there's a switch for that. Open this up. An up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody. Oh, I remember what how, what to do with that now. I remember. Okay, now that we've gotten the up arrow, I guess uh, for YouTube, let's jump cut back to Rogueport. So you don't have to watch me spend another 10 minutes walking all the way back there. Okay, now we're back. Let's go in here. If I remember to do so, I probably jumped ahead with the editing. Yeah, give him the up arrow. What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? 
Of course. Look at that, he went up. Look at that. This is the Ultra Stone, so that's what the star sign meant. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. Whoa! We are cooking now. Let me know when you want, to, uh, want me to power up your allies more. So how many shine sprites do I have? I have 12, so I can get four upgrades. Bobbery hasn't gotten a single upgrade yet. I think I should upgrade Bobbery twice, though. Merlin, the super magician. Okay. Shall I power up this partner? Yes, hang on. It's gonna play the loud star music for a little bit. So let's just turn it down in preparation. So let's get some upgrades done. We don't have to really... I think I should upgrade Goombella, of course, because we always want to have Goombella out. She's our Goom. Bobbery gets really good at level 2. Care to power up more? Okay. Let's do it. Of course, we gotta upgrade Vivian, too. Shazubi! Look at that. Amazing. Now Bobbery is super strong. Hang on, I think he gets like some of the most HP in the game if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he gets 40 HP at level two. Dang, look at that. Okay. Hmm. You can use Rally Wink to up Mario's attack turns by one. Shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. Let's upgrade Vivian. Do I need to upgrade Goombella right now? I think I don't. You know, no spoilers, but... I don't know if Goombella is really the best party member for the upcoming part. For bat like battle-wise, we're still going to use her for tattling. But we gotta upgrade Vivian, because of course we gotta upgrade Vivian. She's the best. You're gonna power up more. Um, for the last one, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna use Koops. You know why? Because there aren't any more new party members for the rest of the game. So, and I have not used Koops in a thumbnail, right? So, if I use Koops a lot this episode, then I can justify putting him in the thumbnail. Because I'm running out of party members to use in thumbnails. So everybody, be extra nice to Koops. It's his episode now. Then you may go. Dang, 25 HP. Koops has lower HP because he has the one defense, unlike most other party members. Hang on. Koops deserves a thumbnail. Heck yeah, it's Koops time. Now, before we move on to the next chapter, though, now that we've gotten the Ultra Stone... Bro, I've already been playing almost 20 minutes. I wonder how long it'll look to YouTube when I cut out the backtrack into Hooktail. Yeah, let's talk to Luigi, find out what he's up to. Well, got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazzafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Who? It was pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happened? Pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of the story you want to hear? Tell me all about Jazzafraz Town. Well, like I said, it's a long story, but here goes. I can turn it back up, I just realized. Hang on. As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know? But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama uh, plaque, I almost read that as plague, <laughs> might in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. Okay, that sounds like a, an isekai light novel title. 
The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro. Grass! I just sprawled on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece of the marvelous compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I'll reach you. I'll stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, uh, so yeah, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rogueport, and here I am. Another leg of my adventure completed. You wanna hear what I'm up to? Come talk to me. I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi's a great actor. One of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm gonna be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. You know, at least that one doesn't seem so passive-aggressive, like the other ones were. We saw what Luigi's been up to. It's been a fun adventure for him. Now we gotta go over here. Oh, wait a second. I need to go to the Thousand Year Door. That's what I need to do. Now that I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do that yet. Graffiti Corner. Sometimes I think I'd be better off not ever speaking. Wish I still was still a pig. Oh, sorry to hear that. One of the Luigi's partners isn't holding a grudge. Safety save. I'll save by the door again. Don't worry. We got partners upgraded. There's another boat section over there. I should probably check that. Before that, though... Yeah, I can just do this. We're gonna stop by the door. A thousand year door. I'm gonna need to go back down the sewers and stuff soon. I think this is. Oh, there's Kamek's down here now. Okay. Guess it makes sense that they get stronger enemies. I don't remember that, though. I think I already hit the flip panels here, didn't I? Well, whatever. Come on, Coops. It's you and me. Against the world. New adventure. Here we go. Hmm. How do you play grass in a play? I don't know. You just kind of sit there with, like, a face cut out, and it's, like, looks like grass in the foreground. I don't know. It's a weird idea. I don't know why you need someone to play that. It's just to pretend Luigi is helping. Luigi is the younger brother, so... Giving him a, a controller and not plugging it in is very Luigi. And there it is. Location of a crystal star is recorded on the magical map. Alright, let's go see the professor. Darn right we're gonna go see the professor, Koops. God, I love that guy. Koops is just here to save the day. Being a good bud. Great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. Wait, don't a lot of really rich and famous people live in Poshley Heights? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either, just a tourist attraction. Sounds great, and to get to this place we should... 
That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the, the XS Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been backbreaking work, but this time it'll be a cinch. Um, but I thought only rich and famous people can get tickets on that train. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta with help for this. Oh man, you've got to be joking with me. That guy's scary. Great. Well, it's not like we have much choice here. Let's go, Mario. Ugh. Come on, Koops. We can do it. Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Hey, let me check that boat panel to the side. Koops is such a helpful lad. Heck, I remember one time I was stuck on the side of the road, right? And Koop showed up, and he helped me change the tire, and I got home. Koops is just that great of a friend. I feel like I'm holding back a cough all of a sudden. I'm good. Another time, I was hungry, and Koop showed up with a pizza. All on him. Koops is such a great guy that deserves to have a thumbnail. We should ask Luigi. Clearly, Luigi's a celebrity. He'll get us on the train. Double dip. Okay. In fact, isn't Mario also a celebrity? Even in this region, like, he became the champion, like, holder of Glitzville. You think that'd be worth something? Oh, there's a shine sprite over there. Hang on, I think I can Yoshi my way over. Or I think I need to fall off the roof, actually. Let's get that. See that star piece, too. Hmm, I thought I could jump up the roof from there, but I guess not. Hang on. Can I Yoshi this? Let's find out. I think it's just too far away, to be honest. Oh, okay, perfect. Only one, though. I need two more for another upgrade. Perfect. Double dip acquired. Don't really need to worry much about star pieces at the moment, but... I feel like if I don't grab that now, I'm gonna forget about it, so let's just do it. Come on, Yoshi. Or little Moomin. Whatever you want to go by. They never really refer to the Yoshi by name. There it is. Could have sworn I picked that one up, too. Don't got time for that lad's stories. We already backtracked enough. Oh, hang on. Let me hit the save over here. HP is fine enough. I don't need to worry too much about it. Let's go see good old Don Pianta. How's the audio, by the way? Looking good? Oh, hang on a second. I can't... I can't go see Don Pianta without one of my strongest boys behind me. That's right. He's got that hoodie. Maybe... Maybe Koops is also a bit of a mobster. Hold up. I totally forgot about this. Audio good? Oh, hey. Dang. Who knows? Maybe I'll get... Oh. That's pretty clever. Maybe I'll be able to um, get another upgrade before I can leave for the, the, yeah, the train. That's right. We're just going to get on a train and enjoy the ride. I've never really been on a train ride. I kind of always wanted to. Uh-oh. Something weird is going on here. Oh. Francesca. Oh, poor boss. The big man's sick with the loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss Frankie's gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves stealing jobs from us left and right. Hey, but enough about us and our stupid problems, huh? What can we do for use? What? Tickets for the ritziest train around for the XS Express. Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wing ding? Ooh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets? That's rich. You gotta talk to boss for that. Francesca. I just can't stand seeing the boss, seeing the boss like this. We just knew where those newlyweds was at. We could take the boss to see him. Wait, Francesca and Frankie? We saw them on Key Hall Key, right? Whoa, Coop's just... 
solving all the problems. Thanks for speaking up, my lad. Who's on that what now? What'd you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie. I swear to you, if you lie, I'll turn you into confetti. So help me. Well, that's where she is. Why don't you bring it back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you'll bring us young Miss Francesca. And we'll do what we can to get you train tickets. We got a deal or what? Take a hike, bub. <laughs> deal. See, now that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. Good job, Coops. You solved another problem. Everybody, what's your favorite Coops moment? In fact, YouTube comments should also post their favorite Coops moment. Should I buy one of these? Nah, not until I do the pit again. I've joked in this series multiple times about how, um... Okay, it's that there. About how, um, asking people to leave extra comments as a joke has been boosting the videos in the algorithm, and it's not even... It's not even a joke anymore. It's absolutely, like, working miracles. <laughs> YouTube algorithm loves that crap. I'll just beg you to comment every video now. Remember when Coops parried Justin Wong's Chun-Li in Third Strike? Oh, I remember. That's everyone's favorite moment. Hang on. I didn't tattle Hazy, so let me do that right quick. Top 10 Coops parts. That's Luigi's daisy friend, Hazy. Apparently Hazy's an actor-director. actor, actor director. You know Luigi's acting debut, right? The grass thing? I could never play grass. I want to play a princess, and a prince would wake me with a kiss. So romantic. I tattled Hazy. I didn't ask for your life story, girl. Let's get someone with a little humility in the background here. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on. I gotta talk to Cortez to go back. Coops is one of the funniest in uh, Book of Mario. Yeah, that's the Google Translate thing, right? How safe is uh, Book of Mario? I'm probably not going to stream it anytime freaking soon. Yeah, let's do this. I heard that sometimes that translation can say some bad words. There is a shortcut pipe in the sewer, but I can also just do this. I know you can't have the Yoshi kid out during the final fight. Oh, I don't think I want to ask for more details. Let's go. Remember that time Coop sailed across the seas to reunite a daughter with his with her sick father? That's a total Coop's moment right there. Let's see if I can flip any panels here. Okay, cool. I won't ask for more details. You let something go purely through Google Translate. That always ends in uh sometimes not some good results. Where the heck are they? I didn't pass them, did I? Probably further back here. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Oh, hey! It's Mario! How you been there, pal? We do something for you? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this? You see, I... I just dropped this wedding ring Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, she didn't even say dat, but I'm saying it now. Otherwise, something may eat it. I must be somewhere... It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. <laughs> also, I noticed the ring on his palm. That's how Piantas wear rings. That is, that is such an adorable little detail. Look at that. More like a bracelet. It's a little a little past the wrist. Shouldn't we forget about that ring for now and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was the symbol of our love. We have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? This relationship is not looking good. 
I, I think Frankie's being pretty sensible here. Uh, maybe we should go see your sick father. It's just an object. I can buy you another one. No, maybe you don't love me anymore. Is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. Ooh, those are strong words. Calling someone a bacon burger means you either love them or you despise them. Gotta be real close to someone if I'm gonna call them a bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say I, hey, you love me 100 times. 100 times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now, please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Oh, fine, you crazy dame. <laughs> I love you. 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 Ten times. I love you. Remember that time Koops was here to get us through this really boring section? I remember when Koops was there for me when I had to sit there and watch this toxic fight. I was tempted to just say it a hundred times, honestly, but I'm like, you know what? My throat is not in the mood for it. <laughs> Oops, is thinking about his girl. <laughs> there! I said it! Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly billy. Hee hee hee. Now my little cream puff. Let's find that ring right away. What do you say? Um, you think these two are gonna be all right on their own? Coops, coops. It's not. It's not our business. You're right to be concerned, but you know, remember when your girlfriend attacked us when we tried to leave town? I think you should worry about your own relationship for a little bit. I don't think so personally. We ought to help them. Okay, let's find that ring. Let's make sure they get married. And they, then they can just be toxic together. You know what? That's not fair to Frankie. Frankie's not being toxic. He's being sensible. All right. Are you ready to see Koops absolutely coop all over these enemies? I am. Repeatedly tilt left. Damn, seven. Pretty good. Koops absolutely coop right there. I'm wasting so much flower points like this. Oh, hey, I hit a level up. Um, what should I go for? Honestly, I think I'm going to go for flower points right now. I haven't upgraded that in a while. I upgraded badge points a couple times last episode. And I can actually, come to think of it, I may as well switch things since I don't need the uh, ice badges anymore. Because we're done with Key Hall Key's fire enemies. I have power plus on. I can keep that. Ice smash. Power plus P. Quake hammer. Power smash. Power jump. HP drain. P up, D down to. Okay. Yeah. Drop the damage Mario deals and receives by one. Okay, so yeah, power down, defense up. Head rattle, pity flower. Is there anything even worth putting on right now? I could try and put spike shield on, to be honest. Lucky start's a fantastic one you want to keep. Do I really need power smash right now? I don't think so. So hang on, let me put on spike shield. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Mario was falling asleep there. Let's get him. Yeah, the cost of everything is going up now that we've upgraded partners. Corpse is such a bro. Anyways, hope you're all feeling excellent today. I'm doing pretty good. Well, I'm doing good now, but... This is probably like the 18th time I've said this this week, but man, I had a crappy night of sleep. Another consecutive night where I just like had a bad health flare up and I just did not sleep until super late. Hmm, but I didn't want to let me- oh, okay. I didn't want to let it ruin my day. Damn it. 
This is fine. Let's just Quake Hammer and then Power Shell. There we go. Perfect. Absolute overkill. Been enjoying the streams a lot. They've definitely been distracting me from my health issues. Hmm. Hopefully doing want to do a lot of streaming this week, though. I need Yoshi out for this again. Let's get that. Planning to take a day off to... Damn it. Day off tomorrow, which should be fine. Hmm. So I don't mind if I go a little late today. Maybe I can see if I can finish Code Veronica. Since that game is stupid long. Okay, there we go. Now, did I get everything here? Assume I did. Hang on, I need Koops out here. They said it was between here and the Skull Rock, so we'll see. Shake all the bushes till we find it. There's coconuts there if we want more. Super coconuts. It's gotta be like... Oh, hang on, I see it. Pricey ring, the symbol of Frankie and Francesca's love. Okay, nothing out of that. Well, nothing to do but to roll on back. Luckily, we don't have to take the... Oh, the coconuts are used for a certain recipe, I think. We don't need to worry about that. We're not going for 100% recipes. Perfect. Damn it, I missed. No problem. Wait, camera and a power shell deletes everything. Lucky Start can just give me free flower points at the start as well, so that's good. I kind of don't even need, um... The power plus for coops right now, but we'll see when we get to the next chapter how enemies are. Enemies aren't the biggest factor to worry about for the next chapter, though. Don't worry. But we're gonna have coops out. We gotta have coops out for moral support. I already got whatever that was. I think there was a shine sprite at uh, shine sprite there. Here's your wedding ring. Oh, that's it. That's my ring. You found it. Frankie, now we can go home to Daddy. We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. If I had a partner and was, like, calling them weird food items, I would make them progressively more weird, hoping they'd notice. Oh. Heal Mango. I forgot about this. Damn. I don't know. I never really haven't really done pet names throughout my life. <laughs> but I feel like I'd make them intentionally weird just to keep them on edge. Make it something make it an expectation. Like how's it going, my little peanut butter turtle? I mean like what the hell you just say to me? Nothing. Okay, we're done here. Okay, Mario, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Ooh, Daddy, please hang on till we get there. Return to Rogue Port, amigo. Bueno, we are off. Cast off, me amigos, to Rogue Port. There we go. What's your best food pet names, chat? Maybe I'll use it. Try using it as a pickup line. That's a joke. I don't. I don't do pickup lines, especially as a YouTuber. If I randomly DM someone calling them a food item, you can believe that's going to bite me in the ass later. <laughs> How's it going, tomato soup? Next day, there's a tweet. It's like, why is why is Pika Spray messaging me calling me tomato soup? I don't even like tomato soup. We have to go see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. My little Ikea meatball. <laughs> I'm sure someone has probably, like, <laughs> called someone they're dating that's Swedish that before. Oh, boy! 
Yeah, let's run all the way back to what's his face. No! Trying to I got stuck on that guy. It's supposed to be a quick little run. I can't control the tube! No problem. Hold up a sec. I can stretch. I should stretch. Sleeping problems means back problems, as we all know. I think I need to get, like, a new mattress again, to be honest. I need, like, to save up for, like, a new memory foam one. Because I am I got that thing where, like, part of it's kind of, like, caving in a little bit. Ugh. That painful crap. Daddy! Wake up! Open your eyes! Boss! What's going on here? How you lads doing? Francesca? Daddy. Boss. Oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie. Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Now that's a goddamn lie, girl. You dropped everything. Yeah, you dropped the ring and I got it back for you. Then you rushed back. T tell him the truth. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was a stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know, I may regret, regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the dawn of untimely death, can't escape to old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Boss, no! No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the new head of the De De Pianta Syndicate. What? But, but boss you still got got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You ain't gotta do this and I mean me boss No, you're the one Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now You do just fine kid. I got a feeling about you good one. I Want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the syndicate the way I did boss You Mario looks like you done yet another favor for me kid Mm-mm. Yeah, uh... About that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just be you beautiful. I know it. What did you guys do? <laughs> well, uh, we kind of promised him uh, something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the XS Express if he brought your daughter. Oh, ho, ho. is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. Train ticket. Whoa. Come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy. Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You, the boss. You do good now, Frankie. Are you seeing this crap, Coops? Frankie, we got lots of work to do. And don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet Bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe you should knock it off with the with the, with the lying. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca. Yes, or Miss Boss, tee hee hee. Underboss? Um, I mean boss, you got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here anytime. You're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah. You ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Okay. It's only just now occurring to me. So, obviously, for the English version, they're talking like, you know stereotypical like italian mobsters right but in the japanese version they're probably meant to be like y more like yakuza specifically right am i right about that i wonder how like different the dialogue is it probably make the most sense to translate them as italian 
Okay. Are they still just regular mobsters? We did it. We can go to Poshley Heights now. Let's get that six crystal star as quickly as we can. Mwee hee hee, I heard that, my uglies. So the six crystal star is in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Oh good, it's you. Whoa, Beldum. Normally, this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise. So you live, for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that Crystal Star before you do. Mm -hmm. Ouch. We got a deal, Mario. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before Beldum does. Let's make for Rogue Port Station. Come on. Okay. Are you guys ready? We're going for a cozy train ride. I got two shine sprites, but I didn't really get a third. Oops. It's me and Koops against the world. No, I didn't do it again. Oh, hang on. I got an email. This is more important. My Game Boy Advance got an email. This needs to be checked. Boo. Mail. Are you Mario? Did this email... Did, did you get this email? Look, technology freaks me out. So if you're not Mario, please destroy this email, okay? But if you are, thanks for saving my captured friends. I figured I'd share a hot tip with you. So here it is. There's still lots of treasures and creepy steeple. Of course, knowing you, you've probably already found it all. Oh, I'm so useless. Well, enjoy your not-so-useless adventure. The creepy steeple boo. Oh, he's given me a hint about where the cookbook is. Kind of weird to give me that now. Pretty late in the damn game. This train is bound for the luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Heck yeah. Me and Koops are going to be boarding. I must have a ticket for everybody, I assume. Watch your step, please. All aboard. According to the wiki, the Japanese name for Don Pianta is... Uh... Monteone? Which may be based on... Oh, possibly... Oh, okay, I'm reading it wrong. It might be based on Al Capone. Okay. So it is... They are meant to be like mobsters, then. Who knows? Maybe, like, making them actual Yakuza was, um... A bit much for a kid's game in Japan. I don't know. Maybe that's just not a thing they do over there. Outside of the actual Yakuza game series. We're still gonna tattle things, but this is Koops' episode. Three days of excess. Three days? Bro. Mario's room. Imagine, the Excess Express. This is pretty darn nice. Three days to Poshley Heights ought to go pretty quick, huh? I would love to get on a train for three days. Just, that sounds so comfy. Just take a vacation right in a train. Hey, there's something on the floor. Oh, there's that third shine sprite. Weird. When did that get there? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Oh, yeah, let me just jump off the moving train. Um, that's an odd threat. You don't think that Beldum put it there, do you? Ugh. Who sends random messages promising a sticky, yummy doom? That's just cringe. Well, the fact that it appeared now means the culprit's on the train. We've got to get this weird threatener before they do anything sticky or yummy. Oops, I love you, but never say that again. Welcome to the train, everybody. Oopsie. I didn't need you out. Oh? There's something here? Oh! I can hear the panel. It's outside the room, though. She's not checking the room, she's checking the whole cart. This is a passenger car. Orange and brown decor. It actually looks good. 
Passenger cabins here are numbered 345, in case you forgot your numbers. It's in here. Hello. Get out of the way. No, jump. There's nothing here. I'll be the judge of that. Well, let's have a look around. So this chapter, you ride a train and go on a big adventure. Hello, Mr. Toad. How are you? Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. Let's get words on this lad. That's hefty. I <laughs> get it? The gourmet toad. You think he goes more for quality or quantity? Yeah, he's definitely here for the food, not for the ride. Takes all sorts. What's wrong with that? Lad paid for his food. He's going to enjoy his food. Get this here. Let's have a look around the train now. Hey, it's that one toad people love. Because she has twin tails growing out of her mushroom head. Wait, come to think of it, Toadette's twin tails are actually made out of mushrooms. Yours look like they're just kind of stapled on. What are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so that they can eat our yummily fabulous food. In this trip, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. That's the waitress of the Excess Express. Kind of spacey. Think she's okay, an okay waitress? Probably not. But guys always go for girls like this, don't they? Goombella! <laughs> Suddenly going into uh, not like other girls, are you? Guys always go for girls like this, don't they? Why is that, Mario? Oh my god, you know what? Goombella, you need to shut up and apologize. This, Koops is coming out now. Well, we have to tattle everyone first, so we do that first. This is the dining car. There also seems to be a cute little shop here. Dining and shopping while watching scenery going by. Talk about heavenly. Oh, you're telling me. Hello, I'm I'm Chef Shimi, a culinary expert. Glad to make your complainance. Complainance. I mean, acquaintance. Acquaintance. Bleh. So sorry. Cheap, cheap is my first language, you know? Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. This is a very tiny kitchen. This is Chef Shimi, the cook aboard the Excess Express. He cooks for everybody. Can't figure this guy out. I have no idea if he's joking most of the time. Umbella is so out there. Hang on, let's tattle the toad here. He's got a little suit. That's the sales stall owner. You can buy and sell things here. Yeah, just about the only thing cooler than traveling, or traveling is traveling and shopping. Could have a lot more tables in the foreground here for a dining car, couldn't they? This is the passenger car. The blue and brown interior here is totally uh, chic. The passenger cabins here are six, seven, and eight, but you knew that. Did I? That's Pennington, a train passenger. He says he's a detective, but I don't know. I mean, why do detective types always show up when something goes wrong, huh? Maybe they're traveling a lot. You ever think about that? I'm on my way back home. I have strayed too long. I have forgotten what it looks like. Well, let's have a look around. We've got more goom tattles to make. He's a Ratui businessman. He's on the Excess Express for business, obviously. I bet he's putting everything on expense account, huh? Is that a fringe benefit? Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. 
There's a detective on board? Yes, there is. Oh, hey, it's these guys again. Is their title the same? That's Gold Bob the Babomb. He's the head of the wealthy business Gold Bobbingtons. He's got buckets of ducats, they say. Ducats? Ducats? I don't know. I guess some folks are good with money. Yeah, this is the same as, as in Glitzville. You can talk to them normally. Oh, you're the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little bub here. Ah, hmm, my, my, my. Yeah, I'm bub. We're, we're uh, gonna get a birthday present for me and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? No, you know, honestly, I know that they're supposed to be like rich snobs, but like... They are riding a train for three days, spending time with their son, just to buy him a birthday present. They are not the rich parents that are too busy for their kid. Like, look at them. They're, they are good parents. I'm just gonna say that right there. Hello to you, and welcome to the Excess Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Sticky Yummy Threat sounds like it could be uh, a pet name. Couldn't it? How's it going this morning, my little Sticky Yummy Threat? Oh, okay, that sounded weird. <laughs> that sounds so weird. Uh-oh. Something's going on. Hang on, let me tattle this dude. Or a band name. Yes, it could be. I knew him. That's Zip Toad, the movie star. Women go nuts for him. You know, he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck up above being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of like that. It's too bad, because I kind of liked him. I'm not stuck up. Well, do I count as a celebrity? Chat, be honest with me. Does the guy playing uh, Paper Mario to people online count? No, no. How could you do this to me? How could you all do this to me? Don't talk to me like that. I don't need your viewership. I could ban all of you if I wanted. You're a um, I'm a celebrity to you. Oh no, and Zip Toad is here and everything. No, my life is totally ruined. No, my heart cries out in salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. Oh, I know that YouTuber. He's a celebrity. I mean, my masterpiece. And now it's gone. I'm left with t tears of horror in my eyes. I thought I was going to have a nice lunch in my expense account. Rats. This is truly unfortunate. I almost tragic, really. I'm dying for a taco, guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't in my contract. Whoa. Detective music plays. Let's turn it up. Hmm, yes, I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. Well, what shall we call it? Yes, that is a question before us. What to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of the supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm... My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said. And, um, er, exactly what kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. Pennington. You would likely not guess it, but I am a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh! The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew it all, and this esteemed friends leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! You can't see me right now, but I po I'm pointing at her. I got a little too into that. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Um, uh, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. 
I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand? <laughs> oh, yeah, just go online. Do that there, bro. Yeah, sorry. Ahem. Very good. Vote her off the train. Eject her. She's sus. Those twin, unnatural twin tails. Ahem. Very good. Now let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be the case worthy of my intellect. Mm, yes. Let me get this straight. So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And uh, I guess that's about it, right? Oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys. I'm going back to my room. Hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. I just realized his name is Zip Toad, almost like a play on the words Zip Code. <laughs> or is it, like, meant to be something else? Is it? Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? No. No! What's his name in Japanese? I'm kind of curious. No way, Mr. Detective. You're just making stuff up, you you Tweety Geezer. There's another pet name right there. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well, then, who did do it, hmm? Hmm, this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Well then, let's follow the trail. A clue! There are traces of something on the carpeting. Hey Mario, this looks like spilled stew on the carpet, doesn't it? I bet we can just follow the drops to the thief. It might even be the same person who sent that sticky yummy threat. Coops is absolutely on the case here. Thank you for the raid there, friend. What makes me say that? Well, uh, nothing, I guess. Let's have a look around. Traces of something on the carpeting. It seems the trail continues here, leading all the way into room number three. And what do we have here? Got something you want to admit to, hefty? Whoa, 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 whoa! What do you want? Burp. Sorry about that. Now, uh, what were you saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen. You blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops a stew on the floor outside. No, no, I, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, no, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no, no need to look. You won't find a thing. Hmm. Looks like Hef T was getting biz E stealing the stew E. There are several gourmet food magazines here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There is a large photo of the chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. There is something under the magazines. A galley pot. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks like it was licked clean. Ew, it's got hefty saliva all over it. Yo! Oh. I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me. So, you were enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Shallots? Chalets? Uh, whatever. Answer. Yeah, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I saw that stew and I need to get my tongue all over that. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuth and instincts identified you as the correct person to color the ruffian. Now about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so we may discuss this in private. Oh, I'm getting into the dialogue reading for this. I'm going to throw my voice out at the end of this. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. 
Yeah, let me get a drink. Gonna wet my whistle a bit. And do a little stretch, why don't we? Sorry for causing all the commotion. But man, that soup was scrum diddly umptious. Can't wait for dinner. I'm a large guy. I like food. That's my personality. Are we sure that, like, that stew? Maybe someone really needed to go number two and they didn't make it to the bathroom in time. Hey, I'm just saying. It's a possibility. As a detective, you have to consider everything. <laughs> oh, this is making me want to go back and try and binge Detective Conan again. All right, I gotta give it back to him. What am I doing? So you found the beef, or I mean the thief. I'm joyful. Ah, uh, sir, you are the hero of my world. You even brought my pot. It's empty, of course, but it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you from me. Here's just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. Ah, why must I butcher this language so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Star piece. You found the bad guy? That's totally amazing. See that, Coops? We did it together. You and me. Detective Mario and Detective Coops. On the case. I wish Detective could be my title. I mean, what's stopping me from doing so? I could, I could say I'm a detective. What, what are you all going to do about it? Tell me I'm not. I'm on the internet. I can be anybody, baby. Hang on. He said number six. Aha! I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it's decided then. I shall take you on as my new assistant. To, to reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with an improbably large brain. I'm sure you've heard of me, so that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait... I demand you do not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache, that nose. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. I know about your most popular role as, as playing grass. Now, about this threat, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Yummify, that's a verb I gotta add to my vocabulary. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob they are definitely suspect. Okay. It's a little... It's a little yikes there, Pennington. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the case. Or deduce the truth. Um... Oh, hey, it's sundown. Night of the first day. Are you even listening? No, no, no. We must think more about... Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish they brought... I wish I brought my GBA. Oh, bro, you want to play Fire Emblem? You knew that. Get out your copy of Pokemon Ruby. I'll trade you. I think we should get Little Bub the Advanced Learner's classic series of Bomb Aubrey. Two words, cheap and boring. Think much more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house? Bub is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking with your own thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. <sighs> I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Yep, I got all kinds of jobs with my friend Coops here. Well, so, think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Sure, I'm a pro. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. 
We need an icon of Teddy Ursa with a magnifying glass and a detective hat. That would be very cute. I can hear everything that family's fighting about loud and clear from out here. One thing I heard was cute. That boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream for a rich little kid like that. <laughs> okay. Detective Teddy icon would be perfect for RPG Maker horror games. Totally. Okay, then. Here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Well, then. Uh... I guess I need to go to the other end of the train, maybe? Did I even explore everything? I've checked out these rooms. The sundown music is really nice. Like, one of the cool things about this chapter is, um, you actually see, like, the day progress- the days progress while you're on the train. One of these days, I should get on a train. Just take a ride. Y'all ever see that, like, um, those videos where it's just, like, an hour of, like, uh, train ambience with, like, rain beating against the window? God damn, that is wholesome ambience right there. Train and rain. Oh, hang on. Door may not be opened while the train is in motion. Hang on, I didn't check out room one and two. Hey, it's Zip Toad. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine. Right, guy? I'm trying to move something here. Oh, man, don't they all? Can't do it, unfortunately. I only signed for chicks. Say, you don't suppose that bub wants something from a person he admires. Whatever it is, we gotta find it quickly, or we'll end up st yummy and sticky. Bro, I'm having to read the words yummy and sticky together way too much today. He only gives autographs to chicks. What a, what a dork. I give autographs to no one, because no one's asked. Because apparently I'm not a celebrity to, to chat here. Oh, hey, Rich Toad Girl. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen specimen of a man. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Oh, that's how it is. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring I lost somewhere on the very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, you boldly brilliant man? Well, not gonna lie, you give a man a compliment, he'll probably do whatever you want. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. You'll help me find my gold ring? Excellent. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, that woman is so fashionable, it makes me sick. She's obviously the kind of lady that belongs on this train. Classy all the way. Well, let's have a look around and find stuff. Hang on. Boombella's needs to be punished for her sass. This is Koops' episode now. Make a save. Where's your mushroom? The hat covers it up. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. He looks so happy to be giving it to me. The Autograph of the Excess Express Engineer. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. That's the Engineer of the Excess Express. Talk about a dream job for kids. But just saying you drive a train doesn't make you cool. You gotta love the job. I mean, we're talking about a train here. That's some serious responsibility. I keep a stream running. That's cool. Hang on, can I check this? On the second day, there will be a brief stop at Riverside Station, followed by the arrival at our final destination of Poshley Heights on day three. This is the train's operation console. There are many small things, the switches and levers here. This is the widest locomotive you've ever seen. I don't know anything about trains. Honestly, I'd save up my YouTuber money for a rich train ride, because why the hell not? It sounds so comfy. 
The train in Resident Evil Zero looks comfy as well, if you, yeah, minus the, uh, you know, the zombies and leech monsters. It was comfy before that stuff happened, probably. And it was... Yeah, there we go. Got you a little present, boy. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? I did. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Oh, nice. Shine Sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it. I promise. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective, anyway? <laughs> okay, time advanced because I did this. Oh, the nighttime train music. Now that's comfy. Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing out handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. There's an imposter among us. That's right. Probably go talk to everybody. Still the same thing? Yeah. Look how the little light, little lights are lit up in each room. Horror games are good for having train settings. I remember there was that one game I played a couple Halloweens ago. Return? That one was a little bit little little bit flawed with the story, I feel. But I think the creator updated it like uh, a while after. But it had a really had really good sprite work. I'm gonna try to get all my paperwork done today so I can join myself tomorrow. So uh, could you just stay out of my way for a while? Okay, bro. I remember when I played that, one of the biggest issues I had was that the run button wasn't unlocked until way late into the game. And that was like apparently the number one complaint. So the creator made apparently made it so that you could run a lot earlier. Did I play the updated version? No, I played a demo years ago, and then I played the full game, and apparently it got updated quite a bit since then. And as a sequel now? Okay. What's this? There's an unticketed passenger, just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we're hunting the lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin eight. Rudimentary, my boy! And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of, of investigative wisdom. Of course, I have other hints to share if I so choose. No, truly. For example, the unticketed passengers, without a doubt, are yummy, sticky suspect. Hmm. Hi, Mina. Welcome. Welcome to Comfy Train and Coop's Adventure. Let's talk to everyone again. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening odors. Ah, no, curse this tongue of mine. I mean the evening hors d'oeuvres. That's how you say it, right? I'm I'm fancy. I know French stuff. You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record, record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Yes. Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're, like, all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Okay. Let's find our shell earrings. What ears? Toads have them somewhere. Better save often. All these ladies buttering us up to get uh, find their stuff. I know, right? Uh, four was still nothing. Oh, right, that was that. I think I remember what to do, actually, but... I'm gonna keep talking to people. 
I heard some noises in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then when I came back, I heard noises again. Really spooked me. Would you mind checking that room for me? Yeah, I remember this. Um, this had me confused for a long while as a kid. I think it confused a lot of people, too. Can we do this? And now there's a ghost here. That's Ghost T. He's pretty lighthearted for a ghost. But still, a ghost is a ghost. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help ghosts. Fine. All I need is your life. No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago, but I think my luggage is still in the baggage car. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. There we go. And don't you dare read my diary. Because if you do, <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you. This stuff's just been in here for years. Alrighty then. Well, this'll be easy. All we gotta do is just find the diary and everything will be fine. Made extra sort that tell us not to read it, so of course I'm gonna read it. Maybe. Better say it before doing it. Oopsie. Did you find it? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Glad you believed it, Mr. Conductor. Foods. Those boxes. This is the freight car. Usually passengers aren't allowed back here. Looks like there are lots of bags here ready to be unloaded at the next stop. Ah. Stored back there. Detective Mario finds it again. The diary of the ghost kept. You shouldn't read it. Oh, I tell you, if I died, I'd probably, like, haunt everybody to make sure they don't look at my stuff after I die. Can I... Hold up. Nah, I can't get over there right now, can I? See the pipe thing. Now let's hop outside. Check your posture. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you would. Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. What do you think, chat? Should I read the diary? Should I be a bad teddy and look at other people's stuff? That would be unwholesome. That would be mean. And I'm a streamer. That's what we do here. Save the game. Game has been saved. You shouldn't read it. Read the diary? Oh, sure. What the heck? You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Oh, sure. What the heck? I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. You understand me? Oh, sure. What the heck? Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked, even though I told you not to. Now see what happens. Game over. He literally murders me.
need to show that off because people will inevitably ask what happens if you read the diary. Dang, 21 hours. In there. How can I jump against the door and not open it? Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. The conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit li like me right now. But now I can go peacefully from this world. Thank you so much. You probably will never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. He's ascending to heaven. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I, I've kind of gotten used to it. The wallpaper's good. Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, not gonna lie. If heaven was just riding an eternal cozy train, I'd be all right with that. Just set me up with a game, my keep my game collection here so I can catch up on my RPGs. Oh, bro, that sounds like a good idea. Get my Switch, pay to ride a train for a few days, and just spend it sitting in my room playing JRPGs. Bro, unironically, I pay, I'm, I'm gonna pay good money for that. That sounds like fun. He's in cabin four. Cabin, uh, yeah, number four in, in Japanese is the same sound for death, right? So, that's a neat little reference, you're right. Anyways, I got the blanket. Let's go give it to, uh, the freezing conductor. Because he can't sleep without his blankie. Give me a drink. Let's go, go, go. So, Mr. Mario, how'd it go? Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. A mushroom! It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the XS Express. Alright, back to sleep. We're done the first day. Mm-hmm. Closed. Okay, it's super late. Did the dialogue change? I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals, which will be plates of glory. Ah, traitorous tongue. I'm doing prep work for tomorrow's meals. The kitchen is closed. All right. I think the ghost has just kind of been there forever. Well, let's leave the train in the conductor's hands and get some sleep. Anyone ever, like do like a long train ride before like the kind where you sleep on sleep on them train voyage day two sounds like it would be nice you have is it as cozy as i'm imagining it an email went on a two-day journey sounds wholesome yo yo okay mailbox sp RDM issue 5, Rogue Port today. Local mystic, Mer Love Lee, age 25, was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Mer Love Lee suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge of eight shroom steaks. The divine, uh, divine diviner exclaimed that her aura was brimming with the power of steak. But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gas... Gastro intense, gastrointestinal adventure in the first place. Shop reporter go. This time, let's head to Keyhole uh, Galleria. We are proud to toast the entrepreneurial spirit shown by the managerial team who brought 
free commerce to this deserted island. I really wanted to do something that had never been done, gushed the unsinkable proprietor of, and former fight fan. So call me the Invincible Shopmaster from now on. I'm 100% serious. Print that. <laughs> we wish him all the success he can grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Cooking for rookies. Listen up, rookies, because here's another intermediate level recipe. Today's dish is the single serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach and add cake mix, stir, and bake. Try that at tea time, rookies. Editor's note. Thanks for reading the best uh, rag in the land. See you next issue. Publish blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Good morning. So any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? Nope. Hello, it is a good feeling day, is it, a friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's have a look around. Talk to our friend here. I can imagine, like, yeah, you'd have to get used to the shaking of the train to sleep, right? I imagine you, you can get used to it, but, like, you know, it's not an ordinary thing. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even a new prototype, or product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the debt. Okay, Umbrella Corporation worker. I think maybe you're the one who needs to get off this train. Speaking of Resident Evil Zero. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold. Well then, the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm... And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train. Good job, Pennington. I'm so proud of you. Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the notes. So it's simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Okay, then. Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. We got a case, everybody. I think Teddy Ursa would be very excited to see Nitro Honey Syrup. Unfortunately, the fact that it can raise the dead is not so wholesome. We just played Pokemon Dawn and Pokemon Dusk, so we know that we don't need that in the Pokemon universe. I am glad that there hasn't been any Teddy Ursas in that series so far. I couldn't bear to hurt the, the, the undead bears. Top of the morning to you, Gonzalez. I'm afraid you saw us at our, at our arguing worst yesterday. I feel rather ashamed. Little Bub sure has been in high spirits since yesterday. Wonder why he's so happy. Good morning, mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Hmm. 
Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today. Around dusk, I believe. Nitro honey syrup plus Teddy Ursa equals new ghost type. No, that means you're killing the Teddy Ursa. That's not very good. You can't kill the teddies. That's unwholesome around here. Hello, it is a good feeling day, friend of mine. Yes, delicious day. Same thing. Did you see that zip toad came to last night's dinner? And I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Make sure we hit save. <clears throat> Ouch. I feel like I'm just holding that cough now. You'd never hurt a teddy. Darn right, you should never hurt the bears. Is the ghost just gone? Probably pops out again if I use Vivian. That's the number one rule on this stream. We don't bully bears. Hey, morning, Mario. You been to the dining car yet today? Still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It's like a bad, chowdery nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? What does Teddy taste like? Don't predict what the bears taste like. You shouldn't be eating Teddies. Well, hello there, you cute, cuddly bear of a man. You're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Well, thanks for believing in me, Toodles. A vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. Okay, now let's head on back to What's-His-Face. There's no reason to go there. Where was he at? He was in Pennington's room, that's right. Now let's run all the way back and see it again. I gotta run through the dining car, though. At least the backtracking in this chapter is only running through a couple rooms. Nothing like the creepy steeple back and forth. Not good, not good. I found a clue. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? What's this paper? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah! That's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this clue? Cabin one, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train, always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. You know what you need to do, do you not? Find that zip toad. He must be hiding somewhere on the train. Search everywhere. Oh, not good. I think I remember how to do this next part, too. The celebrity is seeming kind of sus. That's right. I think I remember. I'm gonna try. It's another thing that kind of confused me. Just need to run on back. Get in there. Try and open doors and I just jump in tr in into them. And now... Think this is what you do? Hmm, that's probably not his room then. Let me do the sensible thing and ask around about people then. Maybe I have to do that first. But I think he was also, there was something I had to use Vivian for. Good morning, did you sleep well? We'll be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. 
Come on, Coops. We need you here. Pennington's probably colorblind. Who knows? He calls me Luigi because he thinks he's smart. Same thing. All right. Now we go back to talking to everyone until we figure it out. Hey, morning, Mario. You've been in the dining car yet? Same thing. Or is the ghost room? Oh, hang on. There's. It's here, isn't it? Could this be another clue? This is another document, just like the last. The suspect must be here somewhere. Okay, yeah, this is the room where I do this in. I was skipping a step with my memory there. Gotcha. Zow, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Come here. Got him. Youch! Everybody, we just saw Zip Toad vent. So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, huh? All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. And yes, this was all just as I deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. Not only that, but I knew you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses! I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, and the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. Ahem. Well, yes, in any case, at least return what you've stolen. Blech. Briefcase. Ring Toodles lost. Shell earrings, they remind her of her ex. Ah! My precious briefcase. It's Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will now soon make a stop. A brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Oh look, a place to actually explore. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Belden would flip if I let that happen. This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Eldam's plan to goify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, suckers. The imposter was found. And now let's go step outside and see Riverside. Oopsie. Give me the double jump there. Come on, Coops. We got a big adventure to go on. You and me against the world. But I should also got to tattle everything. This is Riverside Station. It's one of the places where the Excess Express stops. This place is famous for its scenic beauty. It's the sunsets, you know? Just one more of the many pleasures of the Excess Express passengers get to enjoy. Bring out Coops again. We need that lad. It's super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. So, little bub really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? Oh no, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge. The train can't leave the station like this. A 
I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch. That switch hasn't been used in so long. I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw the switch? Maybe. Really? That would be super. Well, here's the station key. Oh, thank you so much. That's a Riverside worker. He stands there all day to ensure the train's safety. Wow, I would hate having to work in a place like this. There's nothing around here. Ooh, I've been cooped up in there, breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. It's my... All right, I'm at full health. Ah, uh, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad. He was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slipper, slippery sl sort. Bah. We could have questioned him about all that Beldum business. This is the Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruise the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Can't read that. Hang on. Nothing back here, is there? No. Alright, time to check out the station. We're inside Riverside Station. It's an old brick building with natural warmth. It's an antique... It's antique elevator is totally charming, too. I am in love with that thing. You think it works, though? I'm not that fond of getting trapped in elevators. Let's have a little look around. Bridge switch. Remember to always return the control room key to the office. There's a hole here for the elevator key, but you don't have the elevator key. Uh-oh! Aha. Hold up a second. This looks suspicious. Can I blow all of them off? Apparently so. Okay, that one's getting stuck. Hang on. Nope, there was nothing there for that. There you go. Make those stairs appear. It's on a little platform, but I can't, like, stomp it. Hold up. No, there's nothing there. Come on, Coops, we got an adventure. Hang on, I didn't tattle this room. We're inside Riverside Station. This place has been out of use for a while, I think. I love those solitary light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. It's so shabby chic. I see pictures there. Can't read them. No enemies yet. This place is very... This A building like this would make a good setting for a horror game, that's for sure. I think it looks cool. Puffs! Sorry, I got a little too excited seeing that puff. And... Nope, I haven't tattled these ones. So let's do that. It's a rough puff. A rough puff is what a scream tail is. This is rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. But anyway, max HP is 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while you're, they're charged, you'll get a shock. Got him. Well, this will go just fine. Beautiful. Now, if I just land the action command... It's just now occurred to me that, like, it's been, like, um, two hours since I did a battle. So 
The last battles were like, what, Key Hall Key? Oops. We've been on the train the whole time. Okay, no problem. Um, it won't kill them one shot though. I'm just gonna art attack them. Refill the star meter quickly. Pop them. The train is very nice. People either love or hate the train because it's a bit different, but I, I like the setting a lot. That is what I like about this game overall, is that it has a lot of different settings for the chapters. So you just feel like you're on a big grand adventure. Look at that. Okay. The wrong button's there. This is the other side of the big clock. Lots of endlessly moving gears. A lonely clock counting out an endless progression of hours heard by no one. Dang, Goombella. That's wild. Why you gotta say it like that? Also, this looks suspicious. Looks like I can go in there. I can't do anything with that at the moment. Let me get out Coops. Wait. Okay, I accidentally did a spin hammer. Hang on, now this looks like it can be blown off. It looks different. No. Overthinking it, overthinking it, I guess. Damn it. I went for it. I went for it, and I lost. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait for it. Okay. Now that one was on me. I'll get it eventually, don't worry. Damn it. Okay, so when the green one goes, I just need to wait for it to go through twice, right? Hang on, let me just watch it for a second instead of trying to cheese it. Okay. Okay. There we go. Just had to wait a little bit and be patient. Get this place out. Hang on, is there anything behind here? see a station key and a star piece is there nice oh come on wait for it damn it keep missing the jump on that one gotta wait for the protruding part to stick out okay it doesn't turn like that this looks like a castlevania level now you mention it, yeah, it does kind of do that. And wait, we already have Coops out. Heck yeah, Coops does it again. Top 10 Coops moments. Now we can get the hell out of here. I don't want to platform. It looks like I can do something here. Is that just a glitch with the textures or... um? Am I actually able to, like, move this? Because the camera scrolling like this tells me that I can do something. Maybe I should check if Miss Mouse can detect anything. Oh, no, the star piece was all it was up there. Okay, never mind. It's just a weird-looking camera angle that makes it look like there's something there. Oh. Dude, use it. Coop's the freaking best! Oh, we're going outside now, are we? Get him, Coops! Now, I know we probably tattled these in the Pit of 100 Trials. That should be fine. Lucky! We're gonna Quake Hammer. Give me that sweet star power back. Poops is slaughtering right now. Okay, 20 star points. You're not really getting level ups in this chapter, that's for sure. 
the fact that I went into the Pit of 100 Trials, though, kind of more than made up for that. It made me pretty powerful going into Chapter 5. Okay, a Quake Hammer and a Power Shell would decimate them. Upgrading Coops was a good idea for this part, for sure. Oh, fallen. Coops got his defense, so he's looking good. And he got a free shower, too. Dang! Six star points. Not too bad for this stage. I think I'm like level 18, 17. Definitely around there. Look at that wobbling sun in the background. That looks cool. There we go. Can't hit all these guys if they decide to go up, but that's okay. Okay, he went up. Oh, never mind. Oh, dude. My timing was just off at the end there. Oh, don't worry, I'm getting the hidden. I'm getting the hidden stuff here. For sure. Hang on. Uh, did I need the shine sprite to hit it? Not sure. I can blow these off. I don't remember if this actually gives you anything, though, so let's just check. Oh, hang on. Not high enough? Oh, I guess not. For now, let's just strike these things. They're poison pokies. I hope the, the puff goes down. Okay, good. Beautiful. Um, does Quake Hammer still hit puffs when they're low, or they have like a... No, it doesn't. Okay. I already committed to the move anyway, but it's okay. Morning, Lorelei. Hope you're doing well, too. Shell toss. I say, I, I say morning because I'm used to saying that, but it's like 6 p.m. for me right now because I started so late. <laughs> That's not a big deal. As long as we're getting comfy and having fun. Excellent. Oh, damn, I missed the action command. Um, This might be good to just use Art Attack to that. You had two naps today. Yeah, I feel that. My sleep was, like, abysmal last night. I'm gonna make sure I get to bed early. I'm going shopping with my mom tomorrow. Make sure I get up nice and early, and maybe I can fix my sleeping. Excellent. At least I've been still been able to get the uploads up. Probably just get this VOD uploaded tomorrow. A lot of the other stuff I have left to upload is just like the really long things that need to be edited together like Code Veronica. Come on this. Come on, it really looks like you can blow on it. There's got to be something else hidden here. Nope. Only for this, it seems. You think there'd be more? Who puts posters all over an old wooden door? Seriously, this is like a cool area. Just like an abandoned like train station building. More horror games need to do stuff like this. Okay, you're probably not the best character to use here. Um, Vivian's Fiery Jinx should hit them. Let's do this. Let's try. A weird thing. Okay, it doesn't hit them. They're immune to fire. That's right. Damn it. Well, I got the spike shield on for a reason. Fire and explosions don't work on them. Uh-oh. And now defense is down. And you're burned. Okay, if that's the case, let's send in our boy Coops again. Hmm. Ugh. 
Okay, good. It got burned. It's gone. Well, that's all you can really do, Mr. Koops. And what you can do is enough. Dang, you get, these guys drop a lot. Because a kid's not really gonna have uh, know exactly what, how to fight them. They're kind of an overwhelming enemy if you don't understand the, how you're playing the game. And jump, bump, get him out of here. I didn't get the stylish, but that's okay. The star points are actually adding up pretty quickly. Maybe I will get a level up. No, no, I'm not streaming tomorrow. I usually take Mondays off. Come on. Because I do long streams Saturday, Sunday, so... Monday's a better day to just kind of get my bearings. And not overwork. Ugh. Well, these things give good experience. Let's take them out. Their defense is too damn high. Knock them down so Koops can finish them off. Thank you for the resub, friends. Got some flower points back. Not bad. Excellent. Usually Monday and Friday I take off. I didn't have time to post a schedule on the Discord because I just, I felt like crap and I didn't feel like making it. Oopsie. I went, I tried to press the D-pad. Now before I roll down here, what's this way? Okay, that's a drop, so let's not do that. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Forgot about this funny little maze here. Yeah, if I can, I'm I'm doing my groceries tomorrow morning, and then I'm gonna do a little, little bit of shopping. And I fell again. Ah, oh, damn it! I don't even know where the hell I am. I'm probably missing the stuff in here right now. Dried shroom. Yeah. If I can, I wanted to also go do a little shopping and pick up some Pokemon cards. Those are always fun. Hang on. Oh, oh, come on. How did I miss that? Oh, that upsets me. Shouldn't have attacked it anyway. Should have knocked one out of the air. Damn it. Damn it. These things are annoying, but once they're flipped, Koops can just finish them off with his absurd high attack power. Beautiful. Jump and stomp on that lad. Yeah, I got the whack a bum. I don't need to keep bullying the thing though. Get him. Yeah, get out of here, Goomba. We don't need you in the audience if you're gonna throw stuff at me. Flip. I need to figure out what spooky games I want to do this week. We did a couple in the previous week, but Code Veronica was such a long freaking game that I didn't have time for any short ones. I mean, I'm gonna play spooky stuff all, um, <laughs> after October anyway, but still. Ah, okay. There's the key there. What about this? A regular-ass Goomba. Get him. This is for throwing the rock at me. Just a regular, nothing-out-of-the-ordinary Goomba. Oh no, I don't think Nightfall should happen this week. That could take like five, six, seven hours for all I know. Gotta do something a little shorter, maybe. Why the hell are there Goombas here? It's so weird. Oh, there's two of them unstacked. A second group of three. They're not gonna- they're only gonna give me one experience point at the end of this. I somehow still got it. Only one! And now another one. I'm just gonna power shell them. Get them out of here. Give star points back, at least. 
Or special points, I should say. Okay, so I had to kill the three Goombas to do this. Hang on, first let's do this. Oh, that's not for that, huh? Well, let's ask Goombella for a hint. This is the Riverside Station Records Room. They file all the station business here. Or at least I think they do. Yep, these are probably files, not to change the subject. But did you know you have to hit some switches a certain amount of times? Yeah, that kind of came out of left field, but I was just wondering if you knew that. <laughs> Nightfall appears to be over seven hours. Ooh, that's going to be a long one. Here we go. <clears throat> Goombella's just like, here's a hint if you're dumb. Not even a hint. It's just like, here's the answer. Okay. Oopsie. Now, is this everything in the room? No, not Bobbery. Nope, that's everything. No, a little under seven hours, okay. Well, I uploaded a freaking five-hour VOD of Pokemon Dawn, so that should be an issue. I got red boots! The Ultra Boots! Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the Ultra Boots. Now your jump attack power will go way, way up. And you can use a new jump technique, too. Let's practice it right now. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate that to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? Hold down A. Okay. Now it was working. Just hold down A, I wasn't getting it. Spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right to move along the pipe, and B to let go. Wow, way to go. No, I've got it. Okay, now you mastered Spring Jump. You can grab pipes on the ceiling now, so I'm sure you'll access lots of new areas. Spring Jump also lets you attack blocks and other things in high places. Oh yeah, you can use the Spring Jump in battle, too. So, see you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest! I love how they have the little, like, uh, drips stains on the ground, so that you can see where you, where to stand. Anything else in here? We should probably tattle this room before we leave forever. There's a Riverside Station office, but there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Hey, and now that I think of it, why would they put an office down here anyway? Or was I not supposed to bring that up? <laughs> okay. Toadettes just hide. Get Yoshi out. Toadettes just hide in item upgrade boxes. That's what they do. Or she just magically shows up when needed. Come on, Koops. I need you here. This place is super abandoned with all these boxes and everything. the elevator key. Now we can head back to the the start. Take the long way back to the end. Now, did I tattle this room earlier? This is the Riverside Station garbage jump. Talk about an annoying place to navigate. Oh, those were that was a garbage chute above us. That's I didn't realize that. And it smells like rotting goom nuts. It's amazing how much people throw away. There should be a door to the underground office somewhere down here. Gotcha! Riverside Station is essentially just the dungeon of this chapter. Yeah. Let's go. Just so you're not completely on the train the whole time. 
gonna go for it. Don't even care. Got up to 78. Didn't expect to be able to get this much here. The enemies are still high enough level that I'm getting some stuff for them. Hang on. I can jump on the spiky one and then just power shell. Still can't harm them completely. I got spike shield on so I can hit them. Spike shield is almost necessary to get through this painlessly. Otherwise you got an item it. Or use an item to get through it. Ah, oh, damn. It would be helpful if I could get a level up before moving on. Excellent. Get him. I got power plus on Mario and for the partners, so... They're doing an extra bit of damage, which is kind of unnecessary, but it's alright. Mini Mr. Mini there. Excellent. By the way, I'm glad you all have been enjoying the streams lately. I've been seeing a lot not, a lot of nice comments about people just saying they've been watching the playlists in the background while doing stuff. That's always nice. Hang on. This is where the people of Poshley Heights send the pores. Oh, no. I think that you're right. Hang on. Before we get out of here, could there be anything? Any panels? Nope. A lot of people say they've been enjoying the spooky stuff. Got this on the side while video editing. That's good, Mina. There we go. I have had your stream open while I video edited a few times. Oof. I haven't had time to really work on any other video stuff. I'm. O it's mostly just been me suffering at night and then streaming lately. It has been a wild week. With the skull. You watch the playlist while you eat breakfast. Well, that's good. Watch them all. Hang on, the elevator was just past here, I think. Elevator key. And now we can ride it down. Old elevators don't seem very safe to me. Don't know about that. Mario, what the heck are these weird things? Do you think these little monsters flip the switch? Let's hurry up and find it so we can switch it back. Get him. Yeah! Remember when Koops went in there and Koops all over these all, all over these guys? I remember. Come on, Koops, you can do it. Can he solo him? I don't think he can. It'd be faster if I just do this. There we go. And the switch has been hit. Thank you for the resub there, friend. Appreciate it. It is Koopin time indeed. Not to be confused with poop and time. Two very different things. We're inside Riverside Station. Old brick building. Oh, this is the same text as, like, the top of the elevator. That's a little dumb. And now we can resume our little adventure. Yeah! We can get back to rich people land. Looks like we're done here. Let's get out. Fun little set piece this place is. Abandoned train station that nobody goes into. Was a pay partner. Koops, of course. Koops is the man today. Right, chat? And Vivian's the girl. That's right. Hang on, I can get this now that I have the, um, the Ultra Boots. Totally forgot about this. Koops propaganda, what are you talking about? Making it sound like I'm just talking up Koops so I can justify him in the thumbnail. Nonsense. Damn it, I just barely didn't get enough. 
95 star points. Do I want to upgrade bad po badge points next? I think I do. I got 40 HP and 30 FP. Got an email. King K, sup dog. Yo, G Money, it's me, King K, your homie from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me, dog. How you doing? What, you off KO and fools left and right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is? Gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay, dog. You fired me up good. So, are we ever gonna chill again or what? We just gonna, or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, dog. Next time you, uh, next time you front on the King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real, King K. There he goes. There's him and his boys. Jolene is hosting now. Isn't King K the second lo lowest? <laughs> Let him have his moment. Let him have his moment. Let's go. Ugh. Now let's get back on the train. That toad just stands there forever. He doesn't even have a place to sleep. Because apparently he can't go in the uh, station. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. Thank you for riding the XS Express. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. Now let's make a save after doing all that. Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings? Yeah, here you go. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. A lovely piece of a star. You are like the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. Welcome, welcome. Today's dinner is the mushroom full course. Hey, but in my opinion, even though this chef is good and all, he only seems to be able to cook with mushrooms. Hello, the mushrooms in tonight's dinner were just picked in Riverside. Um, do you really think those are edible? <laughs> oh dear. Oops, ain't having none of that. Yeah, you can just use a warp, warp pipe to get there back. You gotta take the three-day trip. It's for the adventure, bro. Well... I will finally get home tomorrow. It's been a rather long time, to be honest. But the hour has grown late. You should get some rest, Luigi. It's been a long day. Anyone else to talk to? Good evening to you. Tomorrow's the day our big deal goes down. I've checked the contracts. All that's left is to get a nice big breakfast tomorrow. On the expense account, of course. I mean, can you blame the guy? i get myself some nice stuff if it's all on the company's dime. What, I think I'm gonna pay for that myself? No! Who knew my little bub liked trains so much? Perhaps I'll get him a solid gold train set when we get to Poshley Heights. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. I heard all about your little present for bub. You gave him the engineer's autograph, didn't you? I wish we'd thought of that. Gold Bob and I would so like to please him on his big day. Hey, mister. So, um... My mom and dad, they said they're gonna get me a train set when we get to Poshley Heights. Can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Free food on the company, heck yeah. Well, that covers everybody here. I should probably give Toodles her ring back too for a star piece. Store is closed and everything's good. We did it, Coops. We did a fine job being detectives, you and I. When we hit Poshley Heights, I won't be able to eat the Amazing Excess Express Chow. How depressing. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I don't really have much to eat in the house right now, so I need to go shopping. I, meant, I mentioned I went to a restaurant, like, earlier this week, right? I had some of the best freaking noodles of my life when I went to this Thai place with a friend. Spicy beef noodles. They were so well done. 
Have you found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master? Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. <laughs> Thank you, you glorious creature. Going back to pet names. Yo, I ever get a partner? I'm, I'm greeting them with this every, every day. Good morning, my glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. 30 coins, and do take care. I was hoping for a star piece. Who was in one? Oh, right, that was a uh, zip toad. But he's, uh, wasn't actually zip toad. He was an imposter, so we ejected him. What about the engineer? Anything for you? We'll put it, pull into Poshley Heights tomorrow. How was your XS Express experience? I guess I don't even have to ask. You know why, sir? Because the XS Express is fabulous. Good for him. Zip Toad is dead. Alright, let's go back to room five. It's time for a wholesome teddy nap. Noticing the suspicious lack of boss battles so far? Oh, don't, don't worry about that. Why would you expect a boss battle? This was supposed to be a comfy train ride. Finally, we get to Poshley Heights tomorrow, huh? We gotta get that crystal star before those others, no matter what. Better get some rest so we're fresh for tomorrow. Let's go to bed. Train voyage, day three. Ah, a new morning. It's so cool and brisk. Know what else is cool and brisk? Koops, the man, the legend, the Koopa. Now then, let's go have a look around the train. Oh, another email. Getting tons of these lately. A patch, oi you. Oi, Mario, how's your life, stash? Or, how's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey-wakey, and when it sets, I tuck in for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like me, right? Every now and then, that Cretan Flavio spits out some bit of drivel about treading water instead of season life, but I just tune him out. So you off on another adventure? I think that suits you best. Give them, uh, give them ooligans for what, and save your princess. From Paw Patch. Look at that, hanging out there. Is he trying to show me anything secret there? Not really. Or is the ghost. Hey, where's Half T? What happened to Half T? He was my favorite toad. Chef threw him in the soup. Ah, good morning, sir. Quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Hmm? There's something on the windshield. Uh-oh. Ah! What are these things? Hey, aren't those the things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. What, 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 what? what sh should I d d d do? Uh, first we have to ensure the p p p passenger safety. B b b I have to keep driving the t t train. M Mario, can you check on the p p passengers? Toad is panicking. Oh, they're all over the train. Maybe Hefty was the mushroom picked at Riverside. He just killed a toad. The train is being over overrun by small leech-like creatures. It is Resident Evil Zero. They just keep saving in every little block here. I don't think he really needs to see where he's going since it's on rails, but you know. Yeah, you all right, buddy? Ah! It, I, um, there were a lot of black things everywhere. Did you save me? Wow. How goes it, Traveler? Welcome to the sales stall. We got lots of souvenirs. What can I do for you? 
Let me uh, grab some maple syrup for the road, just in case. No, there's. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in each room right now. It's even nothing for Pennington. Every room just has uh, the smorgs on the windows. Smorg, smorg, smorg. Oh no, they're inside the train now. We gotta take them out. You are being saved, ma'am, don't worry. Oh, they have the poor conductor, how horrible. Please help them. Ah! Ah, uh, Detective Mario, you saved us again. Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. They seem to have come into the baggage car through that open window. And they still have many of our paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. Well, we gotta put a stop to that now, don't we? Hit the thing. There we go. Oh dear, is it gonna lag the game a little bit? Come on, Coops, we got this. It's Coops time! When I press X, it bounces me around before I land on him. You can do it, my man. Smorg! They're assimilating. Just like the leech monster in Resident Evil Zero. What is that thing? Hey, Mario, look, it's got the other passengers. Help! Ah! Morg. And now we gotta fight evil train monster that's magically here. I gotta have to tattle it though, so we get the HP values. Come on, Goom, we got this. The smorg. That's a smorg. Lots of smorgs gather together to create this huge mo huge monster. Max HP is 50, attack is 5, defense is 1. It attacks with weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to 0, making it easier to attack. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take other forms with higher attack powers. I don't really know. Let's just hurry and beat this thing so we can save the passengers. Oof. Dang, that hit hits hard, don't it? Damn. Don't know the timing on that at all. Okay. And this will work just fine. Oh, look at that. Destroyed. I got the Ultra Boot, so... Best attack power on that. Hang on. We need the man for this one, the Koopa. Oh, they're back. Well, damn. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? What was the point of destroying those if they just come back at literally immediately like this? Damn, I hit it like once and then bam. Well, they only have four HP. You know what? Let's just use an art attack. That'll be easier. Just go ahead and hit it all.
pretty much. Wait a second, I can't hit the body. Oh, come on. I actually can't hit it unless the tentacles are down. Well, whatever. Is what it is. Get him, Coops. It's Coopin' time. What are you doing? Hey! Coops the man turned invisible. He can just do that because he's freaking Coops. Damn. Okay, no problem. Let's wail on it now. With freaking Coops. Oh, we are too powerful. Oh. It's turning into a Mario Sunshine piranha now. Ooh, that hits hard, don't it? Okay, six damage. Easy. The claw. No problem. Almost got it. It's already almost dead. Oh, is it gonna morph? Darn it, so close. Ah, it's doing this again. Oh, boy. Ah, I can't miss this. Okay, it's up to you, Coops. Land the finishing blow. Coops does it again. Everybody cheer for Coops. Yeah, if only I could have gotten this level before the battle started. Pooped him. Give me the badge points. Maybe I should uh, get my HP to like 50 or something now. Smorg. Killed them all. Thank you. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you much. You saved or you shaved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So did you all know? This dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. We will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. I just ignore him. Because who cares about Pennington? Poshley Heights, we made it. Look at this happy little place. Bing bong, bing bong, attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all of your belongings. And thank you for choosing the XS Express. Well, we're finally here, Mario. Better find that Poshley Sanctum that Professor Frankly was talking about. Yeah, let's go have a little look outside now, why don't we? Oops, get over there. And what's over here? Got through this chapter in record time. It's really not that long compared to other ones when you get down to it. When you know what to do. We have a bit of time until our next departure. Let's have Goombella tattle some lads now, too. This is the Poshley Heights Station. The XS Express to Rogueport is here. This place is so upscale, it's like the polar opposite of Rogueport. You can tell the movie stars and millionaires live here. It just reeks of cash. The business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I'm sightseeing. On the expense account, of course, and if you have to ask, as if you have to ask by how. Aha. Another star piece collected. Anything back here? Nope. We dearly like to find a suitable present for a little bub. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set. Coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. <laughs> oh, you little rich rascal, you. 
You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps? Check out their house. They got a pool. Should probably look at why there's creatures in it, but... Star piece. Look at this nice little house. Nothing in here, though. Same dealio. Oh, hang on a second. I remember what to do here. You see that little... Thing on the wall? Is that it? Or am I thinking of a different house? Aha! There we go. How many of you knew about that one? Come on. You can just barely see that. Why do bombs have a pool? I don't know. Maybe they want to take a go for a swim sometimes too. You ever think about that? And here we go. Start piece inside the hedge maze. And is there anything else here? Hang on, I don't think I can do anything else. Oh, can't do anything there. Can't remember what else I can do. I think it's just the star piece in the hedge. Hey, it's Toodles. Welcome, you marvelous man. The train's journey certainly was thrilling, hmm? There's bound to be lots of stuff to steal here for Miss Mouse. Nothing else I can check. Now let's continue having a little look around here, why don't we? Hang on. Another star piece. I don't know if you really need to check too many of these buildings, but let's check it out. Penguins! So, lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure, take your time and soak in all of its majesty. I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook, uh, special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside, too. You can see a train set on the, uh, shelf there. I guess it's sort of fun to live here. But I can't eat snow cones, or make little snowmen, or go ice skating. Or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you got till it's gone. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Oh! That dude from Paper Mario 1. Didn't realize you could tattle and get that dialogue. That's cool. Moving from frigid Shiver City to toasty Poshley Heights seems to have irked him. Callbacks. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Aaron Way's detective books have sold so well, he's bought a second house here. Anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. Check it out. Throwbacks to the first game. Nothing else hidden there. I heard Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, huh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Now that he's used to life here, he seems to be making the most of it, huh? Welcome to you. How'd you like to buy some high-quality fresh pasta as a Poshley souvenir? One package cost 50 coins. 50 coins for pasta? Sure. Thank you. 10 HP? Mm -mm -mm. That's not that good, girl. This is Poshley Heights. It's a relaxed town that positively reeks of money. There's a very nice hotel here, too. Wouldn't it be nice to stay there? An inn coupon. What a ripoff. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Poshley Heights sure is a place for the rich and famous, huh? We're thinking of going to see the Poshley Sanctum next. This is the Poshley Heights. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Can't tattle the girl that works there. Check out the hotel. You can use the in coupon at the hotel, I think. The hotel is just for, um... It's just super expensive looking. You don't actually have to come in here. 
Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Poshley Park Tower. We promised a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. A room for the night cost a mere 30 coins. Why does the pasta cost more than a night with here? Nah. That's the hotel receptionist. If you feel down and out, you ought to rest here. This is the nicest hotel in a super fancy town. Bet they totally have great service. Bonjour, Monsieur Mustache. The last at the reception desk is très ma magnifique. I shall stay here every night until that heart is mine. I shall not die, uh, hmm? Creepy. I've had more than enough of this guy. How does he do it? It's almost impress- I'm almost impressed now. He moves at light speed and always knows where we'll be. Talk about freaky. Maybe he is a bit, little bit of a freak. He certainly seems like it. Now what do we got over here? May not look like it, but I got re- I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better. You betcha. Care to join me, guy? That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He says he walks barefoot for his health. Wonder if I should try that. Alright then. Is that a shy guy on the fountain? They're holding it up. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose! Because it's a bit different every day, you know? And I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today, so treat each day like it is... like it is. Unique. That's Todia of Poshley Heights. She spends a lot of time thinking by the fountain. She's actually leading a double life as the secretary of the Luigi fan club. Okay. Hey there. Poshley Heights sure is nice and warm, eh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Old places make me sneeze. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's totally fixated on this spot for some reason. I was thinking maybe he hops into the fountain on really hot days. But wasn't there a nasty old snapping nibbles in that fountain? Yes, there was, like all of them. Poshley Sanctum's a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. You could just stare at it all day, you betcha. Hang on, let's get this. Well, got enough for more upgrades when we get back. That's Poshley Sanctum. Guess the Sanctum grounds are used as a public square. That fountain out front is unique, huh? Yeah, but that water. I bet Nibbles would still chomp uh, chomp your tush if he fell in. Alright, that's enough of you, Goombella. Time for coops. Gone traveling, Sanctum Manager. Um, that's not good. What do we do now? Ah, it is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Hmm, uh, you live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager? But, um, I thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? Let's go inside indeed. Oh no! Mwee hee hee, you're one step too late. We have the crystal star. Hey, don't leave without me. Oh golly, we're too late. We gotta go after them. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Oh yes, quite rudimentary. You are looking for the crystal star in this sanctum. Oh ho ho, yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring, a fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in this sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as to the location of the real Crystal Star, 
Well, as Sanctum Manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that, you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi, to use all of the razor-sharp sleuthing skills I've taught you, make me proud. Okay, let's get the goom. This is Poshly Sanctum. Sure is spacious inside. Echo! Echo. Echo. Does Pennington really live here alone? Bet it's hard to clean this place. Hey, and those star marks on the floor must mean something, right? Okay. Now let's have a little look-see around-z. Nothing behind here. This huge painting looks like it could swallow you whole. Crystal Star is no longer on the pedestal. Can't go through the window. Now let's have... Fun little adventure. No, I can't go that way. Hold up. It'd be faster if I just went over like this. Oopsie. There we go. Star mark is there. To make it easier to aim your spot. Come on. See a paper airplane pad? Nothing up at the front. Sometimes holding down A doesn't seem to really want to let me do it. I don't know, maybe the input's weird so they don't accidentally, like, lock yourself down when you're just jumping. Probably. We're gonna go for a ride. I almost just walked off and that would have pissed me off so much. Okay, all we need to do now is just hit that switch, apparently. Oh, hang on, no, that's Koops there. Oops, you had your time in the spotlight. It's Mario's turn. Mario's gonna finish off this little adventure. Well, well, well. Detective Mario and Koops does it again. It's not Luigi's turn. I'm not Luigi. Dark booze. Do I have them tattled? Is this part of Poshly Sanctum too? Exactly how does all of this work? Well, whatever. This must be the secret resting place of the Crystal Star. Based on his reactions, I'd say that Pennington didn't even know about this. Oh, I took out Koops. What am I doing? Ooh, they give two a pop, huh? I don't need to take all of them out, but there is something here we want to pick up before we pick up the Crystal Star. That's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP is 8, attack is 5, defense is 0. HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. Uh-oh. Wait, did it just heal me? No, it didn't. The HP thing did. Uh, what's Rowan? It tried to go invisible, I think, but it didn't do anything. I could take all these guys out, but we don't really have time for that. Let me just go ahead and take out my boy, Koops. And let's just dodge some of these lads. And now we're gonna go have a little look around here before we pick up the Crystal Star. We're gonna pick up a little item that people usually miss. Well, I think most people know about this. It's hard not to. Just do the same thing we did in the previous room. Yeah, there it is up there. There's a shine sprite here as well. Dude, I must- I got a lot of these during this chapter. How many upgrades can I do? 
I can do two, and if I get one more, I could do three. We definitely gotta upgrade Goombella for next chapter, I'd say. L emblem changes Mario's clothes into Luigi's clothes. You got the crystal star. L is real. Your star power is now seven, and Mario can now use the special attack showstopper. The badge is more valuable than the star, let's be real. You're telling me. Okay, took me around three hours. Definitely. I think I'm gonna do some Code Veronica after this, see if I can finish it. Mario found the sixth crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be, and where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. Make a little save. I gotta head back to Pennington first. Let's ignore the dark booze. They just kind of put them in there to swarm ya. I got one for my tattle log, though, so that's fine. Hmm, so that is where it was. Oh, nothing, nothing. Just talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, Luigi. You found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over there. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. We did it. Adventure complete. Adventure complete, but, uh, how, how does it start the peach section? Ah, there we go. I believe this is the last peach section. What is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake crystal star? That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess, this means Mario managed to get the real Crystal Star. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe. <laughs> oh, this mustache menace has nearly every Crystal Star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? Mumble, mumble. What are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, I'm positive, sir. <sighs> Treason. Uh-oh. Strange. Isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Oh, here we go. Girl is freaking bored out of her mind waiting for the next one of these. Into the next one. Hello, Tech. What do you want today? Want today? Blech. Princess Peach, I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion. I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you, and I cannot confirm what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed, and something terrible is... No, I will not say, but I have found out everything about Sir Grotus's plans. Grotus's plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data...
No. No way. It's impossible. I don't believe it. Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night. That moon. That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But, Tech, won't they know you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech? I am the base's computer. No one will know if you're escape if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Eek! You! Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose, especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? Gahaha! Ha. Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuits and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am. I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x knots. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mail sent. Princess Peach, I... He's trying. Got still going. Deletion complete. Tech! Ho ho ho, too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No! You inhuman beast, how could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have some very important things for you to do now. Yes, very important. No! Ha 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 ha, he says. We witnessed a murder. A murder in a Mario game. Unbelievable. Can you believe they did that? Oh boy, now let's figure out what Bowser's doing, because I'm sure we all care about that right now. <laughs> Yikes! Right. Save me! Oh, I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was, well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp, as usual. Your massiveness. We did it. The Magic Koopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, real suspicious. Something must be there. Mm, about time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. Definitely. The Hammer Brothers Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. 
I'll blast us through. I'm Bowser, baby. Yo, what's up, Luigi? What are you doing? You having a good time? He's having a good time. He's going back to his good time. Don't need to worry about him. Ready to roll. Okay. Now, it's getting to the point where before the final, final part of the game, of course, I want to do the Pit of 100 Trials. I have to make sure we prepare for that, though. Come on. Dude, I went through them. What the hell was that? Okay, then. Oh, let's stay at big size, then, if we can. Can't break that. Let's just be careful so I can get the big meat and stop the Goombas. There's coins down there. I'm sure we all care very much about that, though. Can't seem to break it, though. The meat is in the lava. No good. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Whatever. I win. Whatever. Who cares? I don't even care if I die during that part. Not at all. Bowser's here just to remind us that things exist. Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You couldn't be more super. Please, no problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me, look. Lord Bowser, on the wall behind you. Hello. Could it be? Oh, yeah. Crystal Star, Advantage, Bowser. At last, we found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze, chumps! Ah, oh, who's there? Oh, don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk. You little punk weasel! You forgot these muscles? You forgot these hugeness? Don't ask how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. Of course, good don't count for squatting this biz, baby. The champ's belt is mine. Poof. Oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak. Wait, what? Well, tell me something. Could a weakling do this? Pain. <laughs> Ouch. Ha! Oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weakling. Whoa, the crystal star. Yeah. I'm... Eek! It's split in two. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Wait, hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser. It's just glass. It's flim flam. A fake. What? Speak English. <laughs> you want the real one? The great Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. <laughs> Crud! Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? How does hair ache? Well, I have long hair, and I can tell you, sometimes it does kind of feel like that. Saving. Do not touch the memory card. I think I'm more than strong enough right now to beat the, um, the pit. I should... I'll probably look up, like, an optimal list of badges. I mean, we, we're not going to do Danger Mario strats, but... When we go through the pit, I want to make sure I don't spend, like, three hours in there, right? Mario, you don't suppose that's an email from the princess, do you? Mario, I know... or I now know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... The moon? Princess Peach is on the moon? Golly! 
It actually sounds neat, but why is her email cut off? Wait a minute. What if something happened to her? Hey, it's Luigi. Well, he's right here, so let's go ahead and read his story. Why not? Guess what I found at the Rapturous Ruins, bro? Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It's pretty insane, bro. Want to hear what happened? Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the doomed, er, the domed, rapturous ruined. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry, and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. Then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled. All of a sudden, I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro. He gave it to me, and then he vanished. Er, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added the piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north, where dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. Hate Song Tower. <laughs> this time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super. And then I'll... I'll... Well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, headed back here to Rogueport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me. Take out the gloom and talk to this thing. I'm Screamy. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. Or I must deliver something. That's Luigi's pal, Screamy. Screamy creeps me out. Never seen anyone like that. Where's he from? Okay then, Goombella. That's a little rude. Mario's a bad brother sleeping through that entire little spiel there. Absolutely absurd and ridiculous of him to do that. How many star pieces I got? Uh, 35. Damn. I picked up a lot through this adventure for sure. I probably should just do, like, a quick partner upgrade before I forget for next time. And look at that. 521 coins. I could sh probably should just pick this up, to be honest. Let's do that. You got an ultra hammer. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will be even more powerful. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. Hold down B and rotate till your body gets twisty. Then release it. Remember to twist a lot. It's only the exact same thing as the Super Hammer. It's the same thing. Way to go. You got it. Alright, you mastered the Ultra Hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And be careful on your quest, okay? Oh, she's upset. She can't give us any more tutorials, so she cries and runs away. Certified sad teddy moment right there. 
I don't know if there's any other troubles that are really worth doing, to be honest. I think the main thing is just the pit for side content now. Welcome to the home of Merlin the Super Magician. Which partner would you like powered up? Um, it's looking like we should just go for Moomin and Goombella. Yep, power them up. Let me grab a quick drink. We're gonna wrap this up very shortly. Again. Um, the train chapter is a little bit short. Because I didn't really get stuck figuring things out. I knew what to do. That's okay. Alright, now let's upgrade Moomin. Shazibi. Shazubi. No, I haven't really talked to the lore guy. We don't need to do that right now. Moomin has become even more powerful. Then you may go. Okay, perfect. Now, all that's left to really do is to head down into the Thousand Year Door and... I don't remember how long the next chapter actually takes. It might take a while because of one infamous part, though. Let me see. And many of you who have played this game know exactly what I'm referring to. The backtrack to end all backtracks is approaching soon. Ah, uh, yes, that part. Yeah, I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it yet. Save again, just to be safe. Anyways, this is where I'll end this episode of Paper Mario. And it was just around over three hours. It might be cut down a little bit after I edit out the Hooktail Castle backtrack. There's a lot of backtracking in this game sometimes. It gets pretty annoying. But I'm having fun with this playthrough still. It's been pretty good. It's looking like probably a few more streams of this will take me. Depends on... I mean, it, I might dedicate an entire stream just to doing side content before the final boss, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Anyways, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you've been enjoying this so far. Have a good night. Bye-bye.